Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are doing a Magic the Gathering Online Throne of Eldraine booster draft. That is where you open a booster pack, you select one card, and then you pass it to the left. And then you select another card, and then you pass it to the left. And you do that until there's no more cards in the pack. And then for the next pack, is Kramer the best character in Seinfeld? No, George is the best character on Seinfeld. I want to take a Lockmere Serpent. It's going to be followed very, very closely by Bacon to a Pie. But this card is just bonkers. And after you pay, after you take a pick and pass to the right in the second pack, thank you. you go to the third pack, and you take a pick, and you pass it back to the left again, and that's how you draft. Urk, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm going to take... Newman is definitely not the best character on Seinfeld. This pack is absolute trash. Wandermare is good? Just could just be so tiny. Uh, for me, there is no difference between a prime sub and a paid sub. Prime subs and paid subs are exactly the same. If you guys have Amazon Prime and you connect your Twitch account, you get a free sub every month, which is known as a, a Twitch Prime sub. So if you guys have Amazon Prime and you guys have not subscribed, definitely head on over to the channel and give me a subscribe if you feel so inclined. I appreciate the support. Uh, Mystical, I don't know if Mystical Dispute's very good. I guess it's fine, right? I don't know. Ooh, Tome Raider. I don't think I want to mill here, but I kind of do because, like, this guy can come back. I think we're, hmm. How many of these is good? I don't know, man. Sometimes I take these and it's just a trap. And then sometimes it's not a trap. Free meatball parm sub with prime? I don't know if that's true. It's one of these two. I think I have a hair in my mouth. Oh, I do. We got it. Guys, we did it. I'm gonna take the Tome Raider. I think it's a better, it's a more well-rounded card. How many bits for you to do Elaine's little kicks dance? <laughs> that's a solid dance, dude. Oh man, that's fantastic. I have no idea how much I would have to pay for that though. All right, we're 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 not seeing a lot of good black or blue cards, which is unfortunate. Mysterious Pathlighter is fantastic. I'm just going to take the other Tome Raider, though, and cut the blue and feel okay about it. Lost Legion is good. Moonlit Scavengers is good. Lock Thwain Paladin's okay. Lost Legion double black is interesting. How many three drops do we want? Witch's Oven maybe not terrible? I don't know. Hold on one second. I'm gonna take the Lost Legion. I think it's just a better card than the other cards. Uranium fever is gone and got me down. I guess Fantress Paladin's fine if it's a 3 3. I don't think we're going to be reanimating this guy because we can just bring it back. Okay, so one, seven. God, 
I hate when a part is wrong. It's my biggest. It's my biggest pet peeve. Like there's some hairs that slip on the other side of the part, and I'm just like, why? <clears throat> oh, Reef Soul. That's a nice late Reef Soul. Um, another Vantress Paladin or a Misford River Boy. Cauldron's gift band. Huh. It's interesting. I don't know if that's correct. This card seems bad to me, but it's a flyer. Oh, another Lost Legion, huh? Okay. It's not great, Robert. Not great, Bob. <clears throat> Your hair is probably confused from all that dry shampoo. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Oh, I'll take a giant skewer. I actually like giant skewer a lot. It's a nice way to get some, some food. I think the three equip cost is a little rough, but... I like Wicked Guardian when we have two Lost Legions. That seems good. Those are good to hit. <sighs> See, it's awkward because we have Vantress Paladin, which wants triple blue. But we also want double black for this guy in turn two. So it's a really kind of awkward tension here between these two cards if you have black black on turn on turn three the most you're going to want is the most you're going to have is black black blue blue on turn four. Oh, i mean that's that's actually playable the creature always comes back with a counter so you can get a three four lost legion or a two two tome raider and draw a card it's actually not terrible i don't think now we're going to open a garrick and that's going to be exactly how my draft irl went where i opened garrick just an Oathsworn Knight. Not nearly as exciting. Hmm. Charm Sleep. Sage of the Falls. Oathsworn Knight. Three mana four four seems fine, but it has to attack every turn, and I feel like we're much more of a defensive deck than an aggressive deck. I really like Sage a lot. I also think Charm Sleep as a removal spell is very, very good. I'm gonna take the Charm Sleep, I think. I think I just want the removal man. Removal man, oh, take me by the hand. So this packs. Interesting. Smitten Swordsmith and Barrow Witches do basically nothing. Whereas, eh, Wistful Merfolk is probably fine. Not an ideal second pick, but it holds down the fort. Ooh, an Emery. I don't love Emery in our deck. I also don't think she's worth anything. But I could be wrong. It could be like three tickets or something, because it's being played in modern. It's like two tickets. It's probably not better than a Falmire Knight. <clears throat> yeah, Emery's like a dollar seventy-five. I don't think that's worth not taking this Falmire Knight over. Ooh, Drown in the Lock. That's interesting. I'm gonna take Drown in the Lock here. Ooh, I wish we were playing these colors. But then I always wish we were playing these colors. We'll take Floaty Boy. It's the only card I'm really concerned with. Um, we are going to try to get some more Merfolk. River Boys. So that we can easily turn on Drown in the Lock.
some of them mer persons. That's right. This is like a third cauldron's guess we've seen. I'm gonna get this corridor monitor. Oh, Covetous Urge in our deck. Real their hand, choose an online card, you may cast it. I think this is fine. Especially when we can when it's in our exact colors. Eh, Festive Funeral, if we do manage to get... This is only a second pack. Our deck seems good. My corpulency? I don't even know what that means. That's funny. I don't actually, I'm unfamiliar with that word. I'll take a memory thief. Theft? Memory thief theft? MTG Arena. Okay. I actually mislabeled on my YouTube videos as Magic Online when it was MTG Arena. But now it is remedied. It has been fixed. It has been fixed. Okay. Festive Funeral is a good card, but I feel like it's there's so many times where it's stuck stranded in my hand because I don't have enough creatures in the opponent's graveyard. So we're just going to take the uh, the other one and put it in the sideboard. I think it can be very good, but I also think it can be very bad. This pack we're looking for like three Merfolk Secret Keepers. Turn on this guy, turn on this. That's probably all we're turning on, I guess. Oh, it counts your graveyard. Well, that's worse. Yeah, I always forget that. There's a lot of cards that count their graveyard, and there's a lot of cards that count your graveyard in this format, and I do get them confused, for sure. Witching Well or Hypnotic Sprite? Another Cauldron's Gift. This is the most Cauldron's Gifts I've ever seen in one draft. Not a big Reaper fan, I'll be honest with you. I think I want this Hypnotic Sprite. Oh, Fae of Wishes and Sir Eleonora. Hmm. Hmm. Um, it's not Fate of Wishes. I think it's just Sir Eleonora. Sir Eleonora is fantastic. Oh, another Hypnotic Sprite? Jeez. These seem obnoxious. 
I don't think we want to. I'd rather have a second Hypnotic Spark than a second Tomb Raider. Actually, maybe that's just our 23 for now. That's a wish you can build a dream on. A wish to build a dream on. In my imagination. That's a solid reference right there. I'm pretty sure it's a kiss to build a dream on, though, but I, I see. I get what you're saying. I'm okay with it. Another Lost Legion. And there's literally nothing else in this pack I would take. Wish I had something better than these Vantress Paladins. I don't think they're great. Is to build a dream on. Wow, two of these guys, huh? I guess I'll just take Lockthwain Paladin. Man, we're getting all the good, the, all the good dual cards. I'm probably gonna play this queen over one of these Vantress Paladins. Witching Well. I'll probably play a Witching Well over Steel Gaze. Yeah, the mana base is definitely not going to be great. I mean, the Lost Legions make things awkward. Otherwise, we're, like, basically really heavy blue. I guess we're just going to take this cauldron. This little kitty cat. Now that the Witching Wall came back? That's pretty crazy. Huh. That's not bad. Hmm. Hmm. We could actually cut the Lost Legion and be just much heavier blue. If we're much heavier blue, the Vantress Paladin goes up in value a good amount. Wicked Guardian goes down. Yeah, I like this, actually. This seems better. And we have double well for the Moonlit Scavengers and a Corridor Monitor. I'll take this Fear Switch now. I'm gonna, someone, else is not, someone else is not getting it. It took too long to take this. Yeah, I think this is the deck. I'm okay with it. I don't think we have any instants or sorceries that we would really care about getting back with this. I don't mind not having the loot dragon. The loot dragon would probably be a five or six drop because we'd probably have at least two, one or two uh, swamps by that point. Yeah, let's do ten seven. All right, let's do it. Like in two color decks, the the uh, the four hybrid mana creatures mostly cost like it's five or six mana usually because you're never going to play them on. Hand is good. I will keep it. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of times, five drops are still fine. 
Um, top and top. Okay. Seems good. And we're definitely going to be able to Vantress Paladin uh, Adamant here. Um, I think this format's actually a little trickier than it looks. So I can definitely agree with you there. I definitely think there is some some truth to that. This card's interesting. So we get to counter the next spell and we get to draw an extra card. Hmm. Fascinating. I don't think we have a way to deal with this, so we're just going to have to like <laughs> hope it doesn't kill us. This guy's not exciting, but I'm not going to, like, do nothing with my mana, so. Get in there. Man. That's a good one. Got mono menace dot deck over here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, Trojan Raid sixty seven months, dude. Chad, you are insane, my man. Thank you so much, buddy. Chad Thank you so much, dude. I am grateful for you. For your support. For your friendship. Okay, well, there's seven cards. We're at six, five cards. We got two more dudes on board. We got Witching Mill. <clears throat> Kerwit, what's going on, my dude? Thank you. Unknown Pleasures, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Are these both knights? Oh, dang. Alright, so I actually feel pretty good to block either of these. So, that's cool. Hmm. Well, that is awkward. Yep, that is a thing. I mean, we're just two for one, two for three in here, and then we're gonna bounce the scavengers. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, there's a lot of lands. Alright. What does Founder mean? What is that badge? Oh, that's nice. Wow. Guess I should have not attacked there. Hmm. The first 25 subscribers to use up to it. That's amazing. Chad, thank you so much, dude. That's crazy. Falmire Knight does not seem great. None of these seem great. Uh, 
All right, holding back because, boy, that seems like a bad, a bad rate. Seems good. Oh, Jesus, their deck is nuts. All right, so we always draft a good deck, and they always draft a fucking unbelievable deck, so that's cool. Cauldron's Gift. That's a yikes for me, dog. Ugh. So we can't even counter the Cauldron's Gift. So you cast a knight? Whatever knight is the battlefield. Okay, so they can go shoot us, knight, shoot us, shoot us, and then we die during their next upkeep. Now, I guess we have festive funeral. But then we die to the trebuchet. Yep, that's pretty amazing. That's... Yep, alright, so... Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. But it was, in fact, not cool. That's correct. I mean, they played a rare and an uncommon menace creature, two trebuchets, or two removal spells. Like, their deck seems amazing. Our hand is great. If we can draw a black source, it's like the most perfect. What are the odds of that though? 100%. First blood. All right. Well, they haven't played anything till turn three, which is not terrible for us. And they have no black mana. All of this seems okay, I guess. Far be it for me to celebrate a mana screwed opponent, but when your deck is bonkers, I feel less bad about it. <sighs> Boy. I was really hoping for a land there so I could attack and keep up Mystical Dispute, thank but you. alas, this was not meant to be. Grobinger, thank you so much for the eight months. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I woke up at 11.30, but it turns out most of my team is working from home. Me too, buddy. Me too. Oh, e this is the easiest block I've ever had to make. That's fascinating to me. Okay, see, now we're probably just attacking with Sire Eleonora. Because we have Reef Soul and a Mystical Dispute in our hand. And a Charm Sleep is what I was saying, because then we can deal with whatever they play. Does Mike B work from home? No, Mike B has to leave and go into work, which is why it's a big deal when he leaves two hours late every single day. And he's still sleeping now, just to be clear. Turn six, Weasel. Turn six. These guys are, these are terrible, right? Does Mike be work from work? Not frequently, no. And game two. Game three. Game two, three. Okay. That was interesting.
Wow, double black. Ugh, it's tempting. I'm tempted to keep it because I have ten blue sources in here. Any blue source gets us. I'm gonna keep it. We're on the draw. They went to six. Weasel. Okay, I still want a blue source. Nailed it. Oh, trebuchet. You know how I feel. I'm just going to pass here. I can take a few damage from this guy. Just to keep up Hypnotic Sprite. And hope, I guess, hope they don't play a 4-drop. Oh, yes. See, this is why we do that. This is why we do what we do. Do, do, do. Now they can't even attack with anything? That's good for us. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Oh, wow. That was a good hit. That's just a free removal spell, and now they just have a swamp in hand. Seems okay to me. All right. Maybe we're doing good. Maybe we're doing good. That serpent is always the scoop em up Gotham's. Did they not shoot us in response? They did not. That's sweet. Yes, keep the lands coming. Excellent. We're getting rid of this because it's the only thing that can deal us damage consistently throughout the game. They have no cards in hand. We can block everything else. We can play Hypnotic Sprite to block more. We can drown something in the lock. Like they, don't, they can only attack with the two left guys. And then we can kill them both, and they have, like, nothing at that point. Third deck was insane, game one. I have no idea what happened. We're going to do this because it makes them use their mana. Oof. Here, this is where we pass, and then we lock Mirror Serpent at instant speed to eat this lone dwarf. Oh, God. Guys. He has a family. Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! That is... A thick ass boy. Buck ba. All right. Well. Mm. Not bad, but not going to do it either. And that'll do. All right, Lockmere Serpent is an absolute beating. Absolute beating. Third deck seemed amazing in game one. I did not expect to win that match. But then our deck seemed amazing in games two and three, so...
this hand seems good. I will keep it. Interesting. <laughs> Serpents are greater than Mike Pence. You are correct. Wow, they just ran a hypnotic sprite out there? That's aggressive. Can I draw land? That's all I want. Just give me an island into another island and we're call we'll call it a day. Are you gonna equip this guy? No, you're gonna play a a gingerbread man. That's a gnome? This should be this is no. How is this a gnome? Is this alive? I guess it's alive. I don't even know, man. Nailed it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That light really triggers my photo sensitivity. That's what I'm looking for, man. I'll take three. Oh, that guy's big. That guy is big and scary. I wish I actually took this guy when, if I knew it was being... Uh, I'd rather take this guy than the Lock Dragon, for sure. I have three cards in my hand. Four cards that would trigger that guy. Oh, five or go to three cards. Let's stick with three. Can I get a land? No. Okay. So missing a land drop. Against three three four four two three. Seems good. Seems good. No blocks, still. Oh, they're blue-green. Wow, that makes more sense now. Believe it or not, cannot beat double double miss land drop into against Oko. Seems bad. The old 40 ticket draft. Yep, I guess we'll keep this.
<sighs> okay, so nothing yet? Interesting. Let's witching well. I'm not super concerned with getting a queen of ice down here. Let's bottom both of these because we have five lands here. And I'm sure we'll draw more. Yeah, that's fine. So we play this. Next turn we'll have, we'll drop two. So this will be a three, three. It's about four, four. Three, four into a four, four. Because she replaces herself. Yeah, all right, it's not bad. Oh, turtle boy. I guess we'll attack here. I doubt you're blocking old Misty Riverford. Alright, so we have Lockmere Serpent next turn, which is pretty gassed. This is an interesting... Oh, okay. I was like, that's an interesting block. That's fine. Two seven. That thing's huge. I can still reave its soul. God, I don't even want to like, I don't even want to play Reef Soul because I just want to play Lockmere Serpent. Put both on top. Okay. I think a double block here, which is cute. That was that was pretty sweet. That worked out quite well. Did they miss the onboard trick? Just got home from Illinois. Lock the front door open. Got to sit down, take a rest on the porch. Oh, he just planned that dude out by himself. Memories and elephants all playing in the band. Seven four. Can we just trade here? Unfortunately, this does make it a seven seven. Hmm. 
Are we still live? No one said anything for like 10 minutes and that's really freaking me out. And I just got a stats, your stats for your stream on today. <laughs> I'm like, well, but I'm not done. Frogler, there you go. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, so let's figure out what's going on here. I really just want to play this. I can also see playing this and this. Power three or less. If we, I think this is a fine trade if they want to take seven. Plus that dude doesn't untap, so they'll go to nine. They can't, okay, that's what I figured you'd do. You're so predictable. Okay, now we have no reason to play anything, so we're just going to keep up Lockmere Serpent. This is like a three for one. Like, we basically traded six drop, four drop, and we drew a card. So, that's actually a sick deal. Yeah, I don't care about that. My only concern right now is Lockmere Serpent. And then protecting it with things like Mystical Demise. Or its own protection. Ooh, 3-5. I'll take it. They're like, you had seven mana and you didn't do, you said six mana, you didn't do anything. I don't know what's happening. Oh, it just resolves, okay. That seems good. They kind of have to block the Serpent here. If they don't block the Serpent, then it's lethal next turn, because I can just make it unblockable. So, that seems okay. Sure, tap your little, your little fat boy. Well, I'm going to keep up Dispute. Yep. Oh, it's a blue spell. Oh, it's a blue spell. It only costs one mana. That's that's pretty gas. Well, that might be the end. This is the end. Ding, ding, ding. My only friend. They could have Peel here, and if we cycle Falmire Knight, they might just be uh, convinced to play it. One, two, three, four, five. We'd have two mana left over. Does not do it. I guess we just get in there. Assume Peel from Reality is an option that they have, because otherwise they're dead. 
Gaining three life is the option that they have. Okay. Okay. So no peel from reality. Oops, there goes gravity. Bottom one, top the other, one, two, three, four, crack this, play this. actually have to black up and activate it. Adam, what's going on? So not Oko, draw three, keeping up Oko mana. Oko turning this guy into a 3-3 three, three would be decent, but then we still have like removal for this guy. Two flyers. I don't even like Rimrock Knight, but I think like when you have six of them, it's probably just fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Not great, but fine. They can't attack here. Let me try going tonight. My baby, my baby, and it's to get me through this life. Reave your soul. So we want to keep up one, two, three. So we can play this. One, two, three, four. Play Paladin. And still keep up Hypnotic Sprite. So if they have Oko, that's okay. Oko is okay. I feel like they're dead. I feel like this game has gone on for for too long. Okay, what can you do? What is this? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Hypnotic Sprite. Oh, you had your own Hypnotic Sprite? Wow. What a time to be alive. 
I'll just kill you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, hypnotic sprite. <laughs> Our deck seems good. Maybe Wishful Merfolk isn't great here. Maybe Memory Theft is better. Any hand with uh, Lockmere Serpent seems good enough. Oh, our opponent's deck seemed better first game. Our, our Both of our opponent's decks have seemed better in the first game. That was their moment to shine right there. And then we rallied back in games two. And we'll see if we can continue our, our game three rally. They put both cards back on top? Good lord. That's so weird when they just run that out on turn two. I mean, if they go turn three Oko, we're probably just dead, right? Because that card's actually disgusting. Okay, they did not do that. Which is nice, because we get to memory theft something. Okay, wow, Memory Theft seems amazing at this point. I mean, there's a lot of damage, but still, we get to Memory Theft and Animating Fairy into the trash can. Wow, that worked out pretty well. Clockwork, Servant, and Sir Eleanor. Hmm. One draws you a card. I guess they both draw you a card. But one, we have more time to deal with, and you don't even have the mana for this yet. Let's get rid of Clockwork Servant and that. Um, let me just attack here. I'm not going to block, so... Next turn, we'll probably be doing some blocking. I mean, all we're gonna really do is survive to uh, be able to uh, not die to 4-4 four, four, and 2-1. So... pretty good so we are not dead and that's the important part land okay okay so we can fest the funeral this turn no. Well, we can, but it's not great. It's unfortunate. Yeah, we can block Festa Funeral. Moonlit Scavengers bounce this guy. It's not terrible. Oh, the case making the video card overheat seems rough. Let's block first. If they have a removal, if they have a removal spell, you want to block first. If they have a counter spell, you do not. We know one of the cards in their hand. All right. 
Go to two. Don't play anything. That's basically nothing. Okay. Alright, well, that's not great. But we still get two blockers. Okay, it's not terrible. Oh boy, is this how we rally back? I don't know. Lockmere Serpent being able to sack lands and gain life is not nothing. It's one of those super compact military cases and the fans in the video card couldn't keep... Yeah, that makes sense actually because there's not enough airflow. That's definitely a real thing. So we have one of the cards in your hand? I mean, we have two of the cards in your hand. Oh, McGimp, what's up, my dude? If they just play the other flyer, I don't think we have a way to deal with it. I think we're probably just... No, actually, we can play Lockmere Serpent and gain a life. So we go to three. I guess they could equip it, though, and kill us. Ugh, okay. Well, that's also a thing. But that does not kill us. Fascinatingly enough. That's pretty bad. All right, well. Yikes. Okay, they just play both. Yeah, sure, this is probably game. That's brutal. One, two, three. Don't actually have the luxury of Lockmere Serpenting here. Gotta draw something to play. Mm, that's land. Okay, so. Yep, that is unfortunately game. Wow. I mean, I thought we were doing very well, but then we were not. I'll keep this hand. I mean, last game I feel like we did our best. Maybe Mantle is the real deal. Maybe that card is definitely playable. I was impressed by its performance last game. Maybe Mantle's the real deal, he says, and then his opponent plays turn one Mantle. Yeah, that makes total sense. That checks out. Oh, this is great. We can keep up Hypnotic Sprite and then also Foulmire Knight if we don't, if they don't have the counter anything. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Nobody cares about, nobody cares about this guy. Um, nah. 
my man. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on, give me one second. Just doing a thing real quick. Um, yeah, let's just cover to, cover this urge and see what you got. Show me what you got. They're just gonna scoop here and they're like, forget it, I can't win now. Oh, you can win. All right, thrill, griffin, ferocity, I don't care about. So if I take Paladin, you just don't have much to do next turn. Yeah, let's take Paladin, because we can actually play it next turn. Yep. All right, so you went Island, Ferocity. Ooh, that's exciting. Cast with adamant support. This guy? You didn't play Steel Gaze? Oh, I guess you didn't hit a land. Okay, well, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a bloodbath if they attack into this, into this dude. Guys. All right, we're doing it. Thanks for the Paladin, my dude. Unfortunately, the bad thing about Covetous Urge is that Run, Run Away Together is a real card in this format. Let's see if Lockmere Serpent can elicit uh, another concession from our opponent and not yet and okay we're still doing it thrill in response okay so this guy's a 3-5 still dead okay Using the best of your abilities. Okay, that guy draws a card. And I guess we're just going to slam in there. Okay, so you're dead on board now. I love it when they don't block this guy when I let them, because then when I don't let you, you're just in trouble. And Lockmere Serpent did win the game just a turn later than expected. Okie dokie. I have no idea what to board here, so probably nothing. We have three Lost Legions. That guy seems so good. I'm just a big fan of a 2-3 with a relevant, a relevant creature type that also lets you scry too. That just seems really nice. To get me through this life. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one, you see. The funny thing is, if they end up milling Lockmere Serpent, we can just get it back. Oh, such, such good times. I'm just gonna pass here. I'm not. I'm not worried about this guy milling me for two. Yep, that's one mill. And then we hypno. I guess it's gonna be. It's, it's, it's gonna be three. 
before we charm sleep it. Nothing? He's not playing anything? This is so strange. Are you gonna are you gonna tell me that I didn't say please? No, you are not. Oh your hand's just not very good. Steelgaze Griffin, do I care about you? Kind of. I don't want you to unexplained vision now. I'm just gonna take the draw three. With one scry night. This guy can't block anymore? What an absolute utter nerd. All right, I can't draw anything. So I'm just gonna get rid of this dude and play my hypnotic sprite. One of the two. One of the two. This guy gotta have, you have to have seven. Can't block unless you have four more for the end. Unless I have seven, I have four, so I have five, okay. Okay, so Steel Guy is gone, Opt is gone. I believe the Mountain is gone, I would imagine. Yep, okay. So all we know about is Frogify. Land. Solid. Solid gone. Frogify. We're getting too close for comfort for this guy. I'd like to wait one more turn so I can keep up Hypnotic Sprite as well, but... Oh, that's sad. Next turn, I mean, now we have double Unexplained Visions and Sir Eleonora. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's not going to do it. I hope you did not draw a counter spell. You did not? Okay. I'm just going to keep playing lands here because... Oh, you're going to do a thing. Fairy Vandal. Okay. Sure, sure. It's all fine. It's okay. Because I feel like you're going to frogify this for sure. Two, two. Okay, no blocks. Oh, that guy's good. So we like, know you have one card in hand that's a Frogify. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So. If we attack for four, I don't think they block. If we attack for six, they're probably a little more likely to do so. <laughs> That's a hand. That is... Alright, we're going to put you on... Oh, God. I guess we are going to play Falmire Knight here, so we're going to have seven. Then we draw Lockmere Serpent. Uh, I want to put this on top just because, like, we're at a point where, like, I could just use the lands. Like, I have gas for days. One, two, three. If you block here, you take nine. Yeah, that's totally fine. You can block my corridor monitor. And just take a big fat nine. Oof. Jesus. It's got a family. Like, I know the only card in your hand. F 
Frogify. Well, that makes that okay. So they have no cards in it. That makes yeah. our uh, yeah block. That makes our Lockmere Serpent significantly better. I think we've won this game, guys. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. I don't want to be presumptuous here. But uh, I think they're just going to trade here, which which is fine. We're so far ahead that we want to like minimize any chance they have. Like we have seven cards, so they're two cards. There are no cards. I don't know why I said two. So now we get to keep up Hypnotic Sprite as well in case they have some kind of three mana spell that's just bonkers. Spoiler alert, they won't. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh Jesus. They had a family. And that'll do it. Man, unfortunate, unfortunate for that second round. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm going to stay here and keep streaming. If you guys are watching on YouTube, definitely check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash And you can check me out on patreon.com. It's an amazing way to just support the channel if you guys don't have the money to sub or if you just want to support the YouTube content I do or the cool stuff in content I do every Wednesday. You can donate like $1 or $2 a month to patreon.com slash and it's an awesome way to help the stream. Definitely check that out. And uh, manatraders.com, another great service. You can check them out. And uh, if you use the link and the promo code in the description below, you'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. So definitely check that out. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys are liking and subscribing to the content. And I'll see you next time.